Welcome to the Org Unity Media Podcast, or AUM Podcast, as I like to call it. And Jason Mayall, the owner of Sam Mattel Sports Nutrition Shop. Hey, that's me, man. <laughs> talk- this is my first interview. <laughs> is this on? Is it on? Is this how you do it? No, it's not on. See, I don't even know. <laughs> I mean, you've always been here. I mean, you've been the staple of Sam Mattel for the very long time. Give me a little bit of background about you. When I was 16, my first job, in fact, was working for General Nutrition Center. I don't think I've ever stepped out of this industry when it came to what I went to school to study for. My first job as a career was in sports nutrition when sports nutrition was not even a blimp on the map. Creatine was not even, even established. There was just protein powder. The cliche back then was if it tastes bad, it must be good for you. So I never had no formal education as an entrepreneur. Pure grit and determination and work ethic. The moment you stop learning is the Mm -hmm. moment you start dying. Thinking, if I buy a new car, if I buy a new house, if I buy new clothes, will it change my outlook of life? If you put the same driver in a new car, you're going to still get the same experience. Mm -hmm. So it's really not the car or the, or the material things that make your life better. It's here you got to change. I think you've hit the nail on the head, squarely on the head, because we're going to go right back into mindset. Or why is it so important for people to have a good, strong mindset? It's everything. Mm-hmm. There was no schooling for this. It's just like going back to working out. I know once I set something to it, I'll be consistent. And that's really what you need to be. During this time, you're understanding that the journey that you're going to be growing in business, you're going to be growing, you have to grow as a person, meaning like you have to figure things out. In the beginning, you figure things out. When people say you want to be the jack of all trades, master or none, yeah, you kind of want to be jack of all trades and figure out what your really your strong your specialties. Are, specialties. Although you can do a lot of everything, the ones that you're passionate and you'll wake up to and you can do really well, and we'll make that extremely well. Mm-hmm. Like, God gifted well. So my thing, I'm the extrovert. I'm more the rah-rah. I'll be on the camera. I'll be like, I'll talk to everybody. Like, I'll run for mayor. (laughs) (laughs) My business partner is is like the introvert. He is like behind the scenes. We're like the yin and yang, hot and cold, whatever you call it. So he'll do the paperwork. He'll do the operations. Stuff that I'm capable, but do I want to wake up and do it? (laughs) No. This is the bottom line. You are not a business unless you're a marketer first, Mm -hmm. period. And how do we bridge those, those two ideas together? I was told whoever controls the airwaves, the radio, TV, rules the world. Yeah. It's so true today. It's mind control. Mm -hmm. I see myself as my own TV station. Yes, you definitely are. Right. (laughs) Entertaining. Okay. So I'm not, I'm just trying to control what I can control. Mm. Remember media controls. What makes me list, watch you? What makes me watch this Casey Neistat? What makes you watch Gary Vee? Oh, they all have something compelling, mm-hmm. engaging. You got to reinvent your ass. Jason, who do you want to be? Mm-hmm. So write it all out. Boom, 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 boom. This is my code of ethics. And that's your staple. It's your constitution. And you want to become the best at... And this is nine times out of ten. When somebody walks through my door, they're in need of something. They're either tired... So there's my energy. Uh, Did I give you a great experience? Was I there to care enough to listen to you speak about what your goals are? The world stops when you're here. It's just you and I. That's a good feeling. Yeah, that one-on-one feeling. Best gift ever you can give to somebody is when you can stop, listen, empathy, sympathy. I feel you. I'm going to help you. I see Sam as health, sports, and nutrition. But when I think of it, I think of you guys. I feel where you're going. Exactly. When I go on that IG story, I don't see Sam. So I know it's Jason Mayall. When I come in here, I come here to talk to you and I come here to talk to Tree. I believe my gift is to help expose people like yourself three years, four years ago when you're starting and give you that little nudge Mm -hmm. or the positive reaffirmation like, Scotty, you got what it takes. The fact that they have a relationship with you they are feeding off of your energy that you want to achieve greatness, that you want to be the Michael Jordan of your industry. And it's, I believe that when you help them that on a personal level, that that's what they get from it. You're building out leaders. You're building out people that want to be great. That Why do I do it? What's your why? 
I guess that's what, yeah. what drives you. What better feeling that I have at the end of the day to be like, I was part of his story. Mm -hmm. hey, you're part of my story right now. But that's what I'm saying. <laughs> you know, so for me, for me to take a, uh, a checkbook home, you know, and I, I'm the only one that's going to enjoy it. Like, what fun is that? The fact that the richness that I want to bring home and put in my back pocket is to see the development and the evolution of seeing Scotty become in witness to see his dream come true. That brings you fulfillment. That's brings you fulfillment. And that's a leadership mentality. I didn't understand it, but now I understand leaders develop leaders. That's all it is. And he has that determination that he just doesn't know how to exactly get there. I just reassure him like, this is exactly where I was at, but you're in a good place. You're in the right time. Even though things seem like it's a zombie apocalypse going on right now with the COVID, there's no better time to live up to your dream than right now. If you're waking up every single day, that means God's not done with you. Yeah. And I believe ultimately everybody has a gift when they're born. It's just their job to find it. Mm -hmm. And my gift is to give you that nudge, that mm -hmm. words of encouragement that you may not be getting from your significant others, maybe at home, maybe your friends, and you're just kind of like spinning the wheel of life. Yeah. Okay. But here I am. I'm maybe your beacon of light that you needed just kind of give you that words of encouragement or like, come on, Scott, you can do it. Mm -hmm. it. Takes one, either someone to say it, maybe a movie clip that you saw, maybe a, a music beat or a, a verse, any inspiration to kind of take your leap of faith. Every successful person has jumped. And what are they jumping for? They're jumping to the dream. Mm -hmm and just be lifted and be free to just dare to dream closer to what you want to become because that's what ultimately you're waking up to every single morning. That's the drive, that's the fire. Every single day is an opportunity to, an opportunity for you. I like to call it a campaign for mayor, right? <laughs> I'm always campaigning. This is Jason, this is the brand. Every person that comes in, whether you're the first customer or the last customer, you're still gonna get that, what I call the red carpet treatment every single time. Why? I believe every single person deserves the highest, utmost customer service. I don't call customers, customer care. I care. Mm -hmm. That's the difference between customer service where I can be, no, no offense to these big boss, hey, here's your, here's your thing, here's your receipt, nice to meet you. Customer service, nothing wrong with that. Customer care is next level. Mm -hmm. And this is really important to the small business owner is that human touch element. People just want to be heard. And my code of ethics is everybody, everybody, 100% deserves customer care. Mm -hmm. Everybody. That's the key. If you are true to your code of ethics and you see yourself not following it, well, then you have to adjust it. And you have to be real with yourself. You can't just be like hypocritical and be like, oh, everybody's going to deserve 100% customer service. And here you are favoring, you know, this guy over this guy. And you're giving a discount to this guy and not that guy. Why? Because of the color of his skin? Because the, 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 the demographics is he's younger or he's older? You, know, you can't do that. And that's how you lose. The real genuine person in you, your truth, will get exposed, right? Why can't everybody deserve 100% customer care or service, right? Why? Why are you limiting yourself? Because that could easily be me dressed up because that's all I had. I had dirty laundry, da, da, da. I just put a shirt on, da, da, da. and that could be me. So remember I talked about entanglement, about everybody is yeah. connected? Yes. Well, karma's a bitch. So if I gave bad customer service to him, I, I don't want one day to walk in a store where that karma comes back to me. Mm -hmm. That's it, period. And I can go to sleep better. You don't judge other people and you don't worry about the judgment coming to you. You don't worry about what other people say. You just do you. And, and, and uh, you practice what you're preaching too. Exactly. Towards yourself. And that takes a lot of practice and patience and, and awareness of yourself. Yeah. When you're calm and collected and confident, it don't matter who you're talking to. I'll move you. Mm -hmm. If you're confident in your delivery and what you're trying to preach and what your message is, I don't care who you are. If you're speaking to aliens, you'll move them. <laughs> because <laughs> in the beginning, if you're a business, don't get butt hurt. 
if your homeboy who you thought was your loyal customer decides to go to over you know plan b or shops online and you find out don't hold it personal maybe it's just because of you have to go back to the drawing board and reassess and if you're bold enough to be like hey bob say hey is there anything more i can do maybe that warm and fuzzy feeling that you weren't giving lately but in the beginning you were that's what what won you over with bob but you weren't all of a sudden you got complacent in mm -hmm. your business resting on your laurels there you go and you stopped yeah. doing the things that got you to where you're at the top that's where businesses fail mm -hmm. they got comfortable but that adds another element and dimension to myself that's the end result because you've been giving that value yes the value you have to earn it but i'm real i mean all i have at the end of the day is my truth you can't it's hard to earn it back i'm the tv show like if you're looking for happy, well, you turn on dial to that station, you're going to get happy or a chuckle or something that kind of takes you away from the drama of life, whatever it may be. At least you turn on the station, I'll give you a chuckle, maybe break what you're thinking for maybe a second or two, something entertaining. But that's my station, but that's what you get. It's a great addiction. It's, yeah, it is a great addiction. It's a great addiction and anybody can pass it on. It's that easy. I call it the art of conversation, right? There's an art to it. There's people that I'm like, wow, he makes it look so effortless. Does he have a teleprompter or have, does he rehearse it? Or he just knows how to just like when the camera's on, bam, one take J. That's what they call me. One take. I just do one thing. <laughs> yeah, I know. If you're going to start a business, be straightforward to the day you start because your brand starts the day you open the door. Because the market will never lie to you. If you're good, the market will tell you. The gazelle has to fucking wake up and run. Or else he'll get eaten. Mm -hmm. The lion has to wake up and run to eat, or he dies mm -hmm. of starvation. Each morning they wake up, right? But the moral of the story is both creatures, whether you're weak or you're strong, your ass has to run. Sounds like you gotta run your own race. Your ass is running. And that's the work ethic. You'll figure it out as you're running. Because if you're walking, whether you're the lion or the gazelle, sayonara, sucker. I mean, you're done. You're working where you're improving dimensions of yourself, whether it's spiritual, mental, physical, or putting it back into the business. All your energy has to be in your circle of your business. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be at the top of my game. I always I want to say I'm second or third mm -hmm. because I always like to chase first. Yeah. <laughs> and then you're chasing after yourself. And that's it. <laughs> What's after this, Jason? I don't know but i'm confident to say what i'm doing will earn me the right to keep my value going and and and, and entangle me with other like people mm -hmm. right right like people hang out with like people like yourself which gives me more opportunity to get exposure right more opportunity with other bigger minded people and that's how the growth is. make yourself so valuable to the company who you're representing okay to where you cannot get fired Make yourself so damn valuable where they cannot fire you. They can, but then they're going to be lost. Because why? Because you knew the protocols. You knew how to, you know, all the programs. Da, 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 and if they fire you, they can't replace you because that other person that's going to take over doesn't know it because you're the one who's, you're the expert. You're the guy who can deliver a bam, deals. You're the guy that knows how to think when there's something wrong with, uh, you figure it out. You're the, you're valuable. That's how I like to say it. Make yourself so damn valuable where they can't fire you. And how do you do that? Well, you have to learn other things. If you're not average, you're elite. You have to think like that. That's a mindset. They can find somebody to replace me, but will they have the same success? I raised your game up. Mm -hmm. That's what leaders do. They raise other people's up. Owner of San Mateo Sports Nutrition Shop. If you're an employee of mine, my job as a leader is to figure out what you're really good at. I don't do the resume thing. I go by gut. If I click with you, I don't care how much you know. I don't care if you're an encyclopedia of bodybuilding. But if you can't carry a damn conversation and you don't have no empathy and sympathy for others, you're dead in water. I think you got both points there. I'm ad identifying it right here. You identify their potential, what they are great at, and you help them get to understand their gifts. 
and maybe even fleshing out their dream, showing them, hey, so I hear you talking about this all the time. Don't you think that might be something you maybe should explore a little bit longer, you know, a little bit more in deep, uh, in depth? And while at that too, you're also identifying the qualities that uh, this person is caring for other people. So if they can care for themselves as much as they want to become the best version of themselves, they should be able to also want the best versions out of other people. <laughs> you elaborated and articulated better than I did. There you go. I only got inspiration from you. You got, <laughs> That's it. The way it works. you got it. That person could have been me. Yeah. Wide eyed, eager to learn, but I don't know, I had no clue about business, but I had every intent to do good. So yeah, if your intent is good, you don't mean to be to deceive or lie or do the wrong things in life. And you're coachable with an open mind and you're eager to learn and you have aspirations to become somebody or something in the future. That's all I need. Because at one point we all started somewhere. Somebody gave him a shot. I want to be that somebody to everybody. When people are confused, when people see darkness in life, like right now, and people don't have that hope and they don't get that encouragement or that self, um, you know, affirmations, which is very critical. Success is an everyday state of mind. And sometimes it's a grind to where you're going to get frustrated. You're going to get fatigued. You're going to get burned out. You need to get, um, what's it called? Cabin fever. Yeah. Right. Whatever. I mean, I totally get it. It's all in our DNA. Be like, you know what? I'll be your darkness. I'll take in your dark energy. And you give me a shot of helping you see the light. Just give me some time to work with you. I'll tell you what I know. I'm not trying to, you know, hide. I'm trying, this is what I learned. And if you're wanting to take that leap of faith with me and you want to spend the energy and time with me and you want to just every day work on it, I'll work with you for free. Because I always believe if there's more influential people in this world starting today, and if I can do it one person at a time, for example, if I speak to you and I kind of lit that fire underneath and I said, all right, Scotty, you do your thing, you do you, and then I don't see you for another couple of years. But what I don't know is you're putting in work every single day just by what I said, perhaps. And then you garnered your army of people to follow you, right? That's exactly what, okay. that's the, the mission. That's that the is mission. the mission. So multiply that, each person I talk to, I'm just planting the that seed. That network, yeah. It's that energy. And I'll teach you that. But if you just keep things smaller in your life, meaning all the distractions, all the drama, da 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 you'll start to be a little bit more focused and you'll start to see what you really want and what you're dreaming about. It comes, instead of being foggy and hazy, it starts to become much more clear. Clarity is key in life. People have the shackles of their past that weigh them down where they can't break free from them, but they need somebody with the key to unlock them. And if I can be that person to unlock your true destiny in life, and give you the free for all, all the weight off your shoulders to be like, you can do it. I believe in you. Those are the most powerful words. I think I believe in you, but it's up to you to put in the work, but you can still dream about that future. And you're going to chase number one every day with all life's dramas. You have to be tenacious and you have to be resilient enough to be, I'm going to stay in my lane. I believe in myself. And then with that each day, like you're working out, you're building the endurance, you're building the strength, you're building extra added da, 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 that you didn't have. You're like, wow, boom. Well, enjoy that accomplishment. Every single achievement is a reward of a feel good. And that's dopamine, right? So when you structure your day, starting the moment you wake up, just instead of winning the day, instead of winning the hour, just win the first minute. When you moment you hit that snooze, you got 10 seconds to make a move. To execute. It's all about executing. It's all putting that foot forward. Mm -hmm. Action. Action. Uh, that's why I see the, the physical development is 
indirect coordination or correlation with action. There you go. Like, you know, people think about fitness, it's like law of attraction has action in it. <laughs> Through rituals and routines. People don't understand how powerful that is. At the end of the day, when you think back, you're like, you know what? Thank God I've been doing this forever. You know, waking up, put my contacts, da, 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 get out the door, da, da, da. because I feel great now. But in the morning, I felt like crap. But if I didn't have those rituals and routines that I practice, right? And this is just a small idea, ideology I'm using. But, but it's building that, habits. Yeah, it's building habits. So in business, the same thing. The moment I get in here, I have a ritual. I have a routine. I get in. I'll tell you. I'll, I get the vacuum. I clean while I'm listening to a motivational podcast or something, mm -hmm. right? Because it's all about the state of mind to have that endurance energy to go six, seven, eight hours after because whatever who you listen to or what you watch, whatever turns the dial for you, moves the needle for you, do it. That's what inspires you. It reminds you of why you're here, what you're doing, what, what's your destiny, what, what's your goal? I'm ready to go, I'm ready to conquer the freaking day. Whoever comes in, they better watch out. Because the ultimate compliment would be someone that walks in. I'm like, hey, how's it going? And they're like, you talking to me? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Do I know you? No, we just met. <laughs> I floor them yeah. with excitement and energy. I'm not faking it. it just, it's, 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 it's authentic. Because the person is so conditioned to not get customer service when they walk into a shop. I blow them away with hi. Nobody says hi anymore. Everybody's so on their damn phone. So just to get a hi acknowledgement, that's a win. The moment you walk in through my door, if you don't see, I have a red carpet. It's a direct symbol to remind myself, every person that walks through <laughs> that's great. deserves red that's carpet great. treatment, like like a Hollywood. Yeah, that's great. Nobody knows that, I'm <laughs> telling you. Out that the yeah, I roll out the red carpet treatment. It reminds you. And when someone walks in, I see the red, it's like, okay, Jay, snap out what you were doing. The world revolves around this person right now being present. That's one thing, be present. That person needs you. He may not, he may not show it, but there's a reason why. It's your job, Jason, to figure it out, Win them over with the experience, the code of ethics that you wrote down that wins. That's your, that's my system. And just repeat it for the next person, the repeat next person and just continue it on. Boom. So what I saw when I was editing that vlog <laughs> and a customer came in because it was during normal operating hours, a customer came in, you were talking to me like all serious and stuff. And that person came in you're like, Hi, <laughs> you're still coming out like that excited, you. feel good energy. And then still got footage of you in the background engaging with the customer, which the customer had a little bit lower energy. So you had a high energy and you brought it right down to your yeah. level. Yeah. You got to the level, you asked them about their weekend and they were letting you know about, yeah, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. And you made the whole sale process like you're just talking to a friend. You're just saying, what's up? If you get the art of conversation is a lot of has to do with mirroring. Right? Modeling and mirroring, right? Like, I got to talk to everybody's level. The, the people it. have all these different levels. There's high energy to mid to low. There's Tony Robbins and then there's down to like, I don't know, like, well, Gary Vaynerchuk's pretty high up there too. Yeah. So I mean, that's the art of conversation. Yeah. If you can mold yourself and you can kind of digress and you can adapt to the conditions presented, you can, f you, you, and, and then get them feel comfortable. And then time will tell. You just have to buy time. Every minute that counts, I learn something new. Everybody exposes information that I am very consciously aware of and I'm very observant. That's another good thing about so having topic. active listening. You have to be a good observer. Mm -hmm. And even seeing their energy, how they are conducting in their body language. That's sales. Yeah. But sales, I don't like to say sales. I just like to say but you're I caring care. for them. You're, yeah. you're caring for so them. So that's why it makes it yeah. easier. A lot of people just walk out of here, just say, I'm just stopping in, just checking it out. But it's the experience that they take home is the most valuable thing because it gives me, gives me the better opportunity for them to come back. Maybe today was not their day because they're in a hurry. Maybe they're just passing by. But the next time I'm in resonating with their head and they're like, you know what? When I have more time, I'll come back. The second time they come back is maybe in a reevaluation. Maybe this guy was just like, I was my lucky day. Maybe he had his coffee. Talk about me that I'm going to try them again a second time. Same experience. And you actually have an added profile knowledge of that person because you were, 
there was years that I wasn't around you. You still remembered who I was, what I did. I may not be like um, genius Einstein where I can remember everybody's names, but I, I do a pretty damn good to try to remember it. So one of the things as a business owner, what I do, the best thing to really know your customer, who, you know, if you do social media like Facebook, Instagram, watch their stories. Yeah. All the information you need to know about somebody is on their TV show or their Instagram profile, Facebook profile. That's funny because I do the same thing. But <laughs> talking about the power of social media and actually seeing them broadcast and sharing part of their life to you. If I can remember someone's name, they're floored. If I can remember like, hey, I saw you at an event or at a wedding and you had this. Good night. You just won them. Because it tells them that you pay attention to their TV show. In their life. Everybody yeah. wants to be a rock star. Oh, yeah, yeah. Everybody who posts something, <laughs> they want to show up. They out. don't want to just post it and be like, I don't care who looks at it. Yeah. I guarantee everybody wants to see who looked at it. Even I do that. I mean, I try to be like, oh, I want to be detached from my own ego ways. And I'm just like, yeah, no, you know, I see what's no, going on. <laughs> but that's, that's me. That's a business owner being naive. Yeah. If, if content is there for you to look at and you're being naive and you're being like, I don't need to see that. I don't want to look at other people's lives. I want to be in my own life. Oh, my. It's free information. And if you, if you're, if you're that naive to not take advantage of getting to know your customer. It's great for an introvert. It's great for an introvert. It's no longer the big box where they throw stuff out there on the TV. This is what you need to buy. You're buying feelings and emotions, the spirit. They're, you're, not only they're buying into your brand. Why can't me, why can't I buy into your TV show? It's a two-way exchange. Yeah. I may have something that you need today in fitness and nutrition. However, you may need, you are good in your expertise in your platform and business of what you do. And one day I will need your expertise. Cause there's going to be one day when I'm going to need, Hey, I need help with this. And so remember the power of entanglement in this universe right now, you, you gave me your time and I helped you. There's going to be a time when I need help. You're going to help me. So, Boom. That's my mindset. That's why every person that comes in is always a friend. It's not a customer. It's just like, I, I care. Right. And it shows if people see that in you, that you're not high almighty, you know, like you, you know, they just want my money and, but you're really normal human being. You really do care about overall their, you know, for, for what I needed at that time. Well, nine times out of 10, that same reverse effect will come back to you. Right. It should be that way. It's a symbiotic relationship. Right. It's a give and take. That's how the world should be. But if I go like, hey, Scott, you know, how's, you know, I'm asking you, but how's the podcast? Or even Mutt, I saw that podcast. You do, do you elevate in your game? I saw that. I'm a big fan of yours. Why can't I be a fan of yours as you're a fan of mine? Why can't we just do the same thing? It, it just takes work. Mm -hmm. Well, so it takes work, but it shows you care. Yeah. And so instead of wasting your time watching a reality show, watching somebody else's happiness because your life sucks, <laughs> why not do, use that same television show idea, reality show, and watch somebody else's that you know personally there's a connection that you and can, be their fan. You guys can actually help each other at right. that point because they're so connected. Yeah. Gauging by a number on a screen, how many followers that has nothing to do with success. They might have bought them. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? But the thing is, what you can deliver every single day, and I'll leave it at this, if you just be your best self, you every single day, granted, whoever comes through the graces of my door, you treat them like royalty. Bottom line. If you're a movie star and I don't know you, no offense, I'm just not into your industry. If you're a movie star in my industry, but nobody else knows who you are outside the, well then see everyone's perception is different because you're a movie star in, in my eyes. Mm. You're not in Hollywood. It's just the eye, you know. I agree eye, holder. That's it. Yeah. So whoever is being portrayed on the big screen movies doesn't move the needle for me at all. I'm like, okay, whatever. I see him on the street. I'm like, go get his autograph. Why? He has no impact for me. He didn't make me, he didn't do anything for me. You did something for me. More than the guy that's the, on the big screen. The value exchange. Exactly. It's finding that, striking that balance between 
interacting with who you people right now being present in the moment and using social media as more of a tool instead of trying to transcribe your whole life on there and forget your surroundings and being present with people around you. This is just a TV show and people just want happiness. And so the, the reality, they just they want to escape their reality and watch other people's reality show to seek happiness rather than fixating on like the real issues, which is today's world and be like, you know, this, yeah. I get happiness doing this. This is real. It's not fiction. It's not scripted, right? It's not no that, but then you grow from it and we can grow together. Why can't people do that? Why? They want the easy button to be the rock star, but they don't want to put in the work. That's it. I want to be the best the supplement industry has ever seen when it comes to customer service and knowledge. Best experience. I set that bar that high. This is the process of learning of a business. I don't know anything. I'm learning as I go. I'm throwing stuff on the wall, hoping it freaking sticks. It may not stick the first time. It may stick the second time. If it doesn't stick the second or third time, I do something different. That's a win. Even though I failed, it's a win because I'm not going to do it again. You ask somebody, hey, Joe, hey, how do you start a business? Hey, Bob, how'd you start your business? Hey, Billy, you know, whatever. Their ways of doing what they do is their way. It's okay to ask and get advice and tip, but don't follow. You try it. You try it. You try his. You try him. You try Throw it on the wall. See if it sticks. If it does, Huh. All right. Take chalk, what works and it discard what right. doesn't. Okay. When you start finding things that you're, 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 that's working in your business, and then you even dummy you down from there, like, well, what do you like? Well, I mean, which one that you're really pretty okay and, and like consistently can do? You, you take two, one or two or three things. You make it, you make it good. You make it better. But you make it legendary. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I <laughs> know. That's why he, he hit me right here when you said that. <laughs> I, knew, I, I was going to blow you away with a word. <laughs> what my words have to match is my belief. Yeah. If I said I wanted to be the best in the supplement business when it comes to being in the retail. In customer those care. words yeah. have to match that. Legendary is it your cream of the crop. You mastered it. So I'm legendary. I say it enough times. In my head, conditional, which subconsciously, I start to believe in it. Yeah. So then I start walking the walk of legendary, you know, whatever. I mean, I'm not trying to like, I'm, I know legendary, but, but to me, legendary yeah. is excellence. Yeah. It's not average. Mm. But if I'm elite, average to elite, it's going to be much harder to take me off my game. But the legendary may sound funny now. But in 10 years, when I'm on top of my game, it's not so funny. But I had the vision. Mm. So when you start becoming of it, and you start walking the walk in legendary, even though you're still down here, the way you start to think changes. The but, decisions that yeah. you make changes. Act as if, then act. The people mm -hmm. that you surround yourself changes everything manif everything changes it, it has to match that that same frequency you're right. on if you're elevating your game your awareness your consciousness if you're just getting better you're naturally going to be attracting better it's the name of the game everything yeah you're mingling with average your limits are average you're not elite instead of listening to your inner voice you're more aware and more um listening to the outer voices the people who say you can't to ignore the, the, the outer voices. Yeah. That's the fear of failure. That's what freezes people to get to their dream. Mm -hmm. They freeze. They so don't, gotta get past they it. don't jump off the cliff of life. You gotta fight it. Gotta, gotta fight. push it right through. Yeah. So the battlefield is in your mind. The battle is not against what people say about you. The battle is what you say about you. If you're going to get up again when you get knocked down. That's it. So it's the inner voice, the angel and the devil that's pulling you from both ends. And you just have to be like, those are just voices. Who you are, your belief. When you condition it so well and you rehearse it every single day and you remind yourself, this is not the way Jason does it. It's easy to go back and get back on track again. 
But if you don't have nothing to fall back on, somebody else can decide for you. That's the game of life. They can decide for you where you should go in life. That's why gangs are so apparent because, you know, they pick somebody else very depressed, very sad. They don't know what they want to be. Gang member goes, hey, bro, come with me. I'll give you all what you need. Status, respect that your parents, that your brothers, your sisters aren't given to you. That's all people want. They just want to be loved, heard, boom, social, right? That's it. So going through all the things you've said is basically believing yourself, knowing who you are, passing on the message to other people to find their own, unlocking their own potentials and becoming the best version of themselves and help them become leaders to make more leaders so we can create some great changes in society. Yeah. Make be the cause to affect more people to cause that domino effect that we can uplift each other. Yeah. So at the end of this, I always ask people this one question. Okay. All my guests is one question. Okay. Is final round, final, final, round. final round. And it might, Double it's, it's, it's going to get deep. Okay. All right. If you're the, when you're talking to someone, what would you tell the viewers, the audience that are watching you right now? Your people, your friends, your family, people that follow you on Instagram and Facebook pages. What questions should they be asking of themselves? Everybody, every day? The moment they wake up? Yes. <laughs> what are you going to do with the time that you have left on this earth. That's it. That's it. That's my signature. I don't care if you're 20, I don't care if you're 80, you still have time on this earth. What are you gonna do with that time that you have left? Sink, you're gonna swim. You're gonna make an impact still while you're still breathing. When God says you're not done, what are you going to do with it? it? And what do you think the result of it will be? You'll find out. Depends on how close you get to the steps of God. <laughs> that's the beginning of the, the adventure. And that's the game that's the I'm journey. playing. Every single day, do not waste any time to give the gift that you were granted, the life you were granted. Use the opportunity that you have left. Mm -hmm. And, and do what you know what the intent is for. By that time, you're, you should be have wise enough to kind of understand. By that time, I hopefully you haven't given up on life. Yeah. By that time, I hope you're trying to really kind of define the last minutes, seconds, whatever you have to let the man upstairs know, I deserve to be with you and to be with your other family members in the past that are waiting for you. And to me, I don't know. That's just me. That's what moves me. I believe in that. I also believe in there's life after death. But that's just me. And I'm good with that. That's my code of ethics. And that's what wakes me up every single morning. Well, that was an eloquent statement that you've given me and given us. I've never felt more encouraged before i mean every time that i've talked to you it's always been encouraging but having this conversation really deeping diving deep into who you are and what you believe and what you see for other people it's i'm feeding off of it i'm feeling good off of it and i, I i'm gonna just you're the influence man you're pushing me pushing me to greatness and you're pushing other people to greatness and i think that's wonderful i commend you scotty um you're a blessing in my life and um you 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 have a gift and um you know as you said this is my first time i ever done an interview like this so this is just raw I'm, this is nothing scripted and i had a great time um i learned a lot about myself i learned about you know this is you know this is all new <laughs> but it doesn't it doesn't justify it doesn't take away what my role and what my you know what i see myself doing but if i can magnify and amplify my message to somebody else that may need that little pick me up hey and that's my superpower. That's my superpower. That's my gift. Um, that's my talent. 
talent to share to the world and what you'll get in return. Because it's a team effort. But it also has to start with one person at a time. So if I can do what I can do with you, with the time you spent with me, and you pass it on, you know, the effect, domino effect, hopefully, Pay it spreads, forward. that's how the world can heal. One person at a time. I love that. I love that. Yeah. So in closing, thank you once again for having me here, being able to share your time with me and having this deep conversation. And I thank the audience members of tuning in, watching our craziness. I'll go back in character now. <laughs> this is Jason Mayall. In the flesh. But oh. thank you. My pleasure. The, the pleasure of my, I mean, thank you, Scotty, for, for having me. Look you and I. <laughs> I'm in character on this, guys. And, and actually, where can they find you? Because... They, they need to see you. They need to uh, have this experience. You, know, um, I am, uh, uh, my, uh, you can find me, uh, San Mateo Sports Attrition, uh, 115 East 4th Avenue, downtown San Mateo. Uh, you can find me on Facebook and uh, Instagram. Instagram, San Mateo, undersc San Mateo underscore Sports Attrition. <laughs> I, I, I recently changed. I used to be Max Muscle Sports Attrition. I got out of the franchise. I'm just... <laughs> uh, Facebook, you find me at San Mateo Sports Nutrition too. I'm just here to spread the love. So anyone that needs a little assistance in fitness and nutrition, I'm your man. I'm your boy. And then I like to entertain. And I like to tell stories and uh, through Instagram and Facebook. And I can attest to that. Very entertaining. Thank you, and thank you for tuning into the AUM podcast or Unity Media with Jason Mayall. Like and subscribe if you found this video to be insightful and entertaining. I hope to see you again. Leave some comments. I'm going to be asking a question. Um, let us know what you think. And thank you. It's mic done. drop. <laughs> I don't want a mic drop. This. Thanks, God. All right. Wow. Yeah. We just finished. I don't know. I just think I just uh, did a movie. <laughs>